Rust update 108. Now this update has brought quite a bit more to talk about because my last video was really short. Um, the first thing I'm doing is the map only costs one paper now. It used to cost five and I think at one point it used to cost ten which is a lot of wood um, for a little crumpled up map. So that's a good thing. It makes sense. And also you'll see my character is standing in a more natural pose than before rather than her, like, her arms sticking out. Which is some sort of cowgirl or something. So they fixed that as well. Look at them hips, Jesus Christ. They've changed the sounds for eating and drinking this week. Um, I've just listened to them and they're pretty quiet so I'm going to have to max up the game volume and turn my microphone off so I'll do that now. Okay, I've just listened to that piece of video again. Um, you can't even hear it, so you, you may have to go into your game and eat some stuff to hear them if you're really that bothered about the sound changes. Um, okay, uh, I can't show you this one, but many of you may have experienced when you used to shut doors, they used to stay open a tiny bit. Uh, they fixed that. It happened to me maybe two or three times. I didn't really know what's going on, but it was a bug, and they fixed that. OK, here's some concepts for armour that could be brought into the game. Now, I really like the idea of the metal armour because it brings more diversity into the armour range rather than just the the uh, metal armour that people always wear. Uh, not many people wear the, the road sign armour. So this gives a bit of creation into the game. I think that looks like a, like a, a saucepan or some sort of frying thing on his head there. Um, but it says here that if you wear this armor, you will walk slower, slow mobility, but like crazy armor. Uh, this armor here is cardboard um, that would probably be used for the from the trash piles. It says it provides real no defense, but will allow players to draw on it. So I can only imagine the the things that will appear around around here and probably up here as well. But that will, could be actually really fun to see bright pink players running around. Lastly, I just want to show you this uh, concept for a water pump. Um, ever since the flamethrower has been introduced, a lot more things are getting set on fire and therefore people need more water to put the fires out with. Uh, this is something they've come up with. Um, it looks like you have to, it says you'll have to stand here and pump the water manually so you can just like stockpile it more. Uh, it's quite a cool design. God knows where you'd put it though. Oh well, I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you for watching. You know what to do if you like the video. Uh, I'll put a full link to the dev blog in the description because there's a few other changes and stuff like um, gameplay changes, graphic changes and fixes and things you can go check out there. And I'll see you next time. Just update 107. I did make the video yesterday but then I rewatched it this morning and it was pretty shit.